Here in the garden of the Moaz establishment, we have nature at her finest. Not easy to look at, but definitely a hugely important part. What we have here is a dead rodent, apparently. One rodent that met its fate, perhaps by a, uh, a predatory bird, perhaps by the very toxic sting of a, an exotic wasp. We may never know, because it's too late for an autopsy. What we have here is nature breaking down nature to return its parts to nature. The mole or mouse, we can't be sure what it is because the videographers are too freaked out by this act of nature to actually unleaf it. What we have here is a, an animal being eaten by various forms of beetles. There's even a snail in the picture. And a fly watches with great anticipation as the animal seemingly alive is actually moved about by the, the <clears throat> beetle, which apparently is crawling up inside the femoral cavity of the animal. Ugh. In the distance we hear the late afternoon chirp of the birds who are oblivious to this very sacred act. Oh look, there's a spider on it too. A little red-headed spider. See that? Yeah, that. Ooh, see that? Ooh, it's a lot of movement. Oh. A lot of movement. Oh, suddenly. goodness gracious! And we can see the beetle plucking out the guts of this critter. <laughs> and there's a fly. <laughs> the fly waiting is waiting it. patiently. We're not really sure, but it's clearly the type of fly that is involved in in uh, breaking down d detritus. One suspects that if one trained the camera on this very unfortunate animal, that by tomorrow morning we would see virtually nothing. <laughs> Should we get an instrument to move the leaf leaves? I will uh, be happy to watch you as you do this I sacred. Shall. I, I shall. Viewers, you are cautioned to cover your ears. As my assistant videographer, actually the videographer, I'm the narrator, seeks a stick. Apparently he couldn't find one long enough in our, on our lawn, so he's probably going to the garage to get one at least eight feet long, which I cannot entirely blame him for doing. Okay, he's back, and here he is. Oh, actually, he's using a very short one. He's a brave, brave man. I was looking for an eight-footer. <laughs> he said with a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it is a mole. Indeed it is. Yes, that, that's, those are its, its, uh, uh, its paws. Ooh. Those pink things are its paws. We never see them. Yeah. We just see their bottoms all over our lawn. Uh, it is actually a star-nosed mole. Poor thing. Actually quite a bit larger than I'd have anticipated. Don't know what exactly got the sucker. But uh, he won't be eating much of the roots of my garden any longer. <laughs> there is his uncovered. What you see there, the pink things are its front, oh, yeah. uh, front f uh, hands, I guess. Those would be its hands. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Um, apparently, the beetle got in through its anus. <laughs> it was having a festive time of it, <laughs> eating through its guts. Yes, it's so oh, bad. no need to do that. <laughs> you want to flip it? <laughs> I mean, do you want to flip it? <laughs> you could flip it, and you could see that it, whether it's a star-nosed mole or some other species of mole. Mm -hmm. I'm betting star nose, and I also, you know, un, uh, the viewers at home, don't try this. But but mm, you must know that uh, the narrator is just about ready to quit this gig because <laughs> a decaying star-nosed mole smells very very bad. <laughs> uh, cheerio.